Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2. In the last session we have returned to Sotenbori as we hunt down the Mafia and uh, we are just taking a bit of a break from the main story at the moment because there are a whole load of sub-stories here and I would like to get to them. So let us begin by heading on over here and picking the first one we can find which is these guys. Ow! I think my rib's broken, man. Pardon? We hardly nudged each other. Hey, that's a fancy pin on your lapel. You government man. You're probably worth some serious cash. Fancy suit, nice hair. Can't you spare a couple G's for my hospital bill? The Charming Counselor. That guy's about to fall for a classic scam. Maybe I should step in. Intervene! Good. I think we've heard enough. Who the hell are you? I'm just trying to get what I deserve from this tightwad of a government fat cat here. You want to help him pay his share? I'd be happy to beat it out of you. Huh. So much for that broken rib. Come on then. Ba -da -ba -da -bum 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 -bum. <laughs> Bye. Still want that money. Uh, I'm good. Later. I would have been in quite a conundrum had you not come along when you did. You've done the country a favor. This man is Councillor Seiki of the National Diet, and I'm Mita, his aide. We're here in Osaka on business, but it seems rude street punks are a universal issue. Well said, sir. Mita-kun, give this man a copy. Very well, sir. Mm. What's this? A copy of Councillor Seiki's magnum opus, You Unleashed. It's currently a nationwide bestseller. It is a resplendent work of the esteemed councillor to show the world that there is more to life than the trappings of great wealth. You flatter me, Mita. In stores, this book would run you at least 5,000 yen. But to thank you for your kindness, I've just handed you a signed copy free of charge. My apologies. I know it isn't much. No need to be modest, Counselor. Any man who any man would feel blessed to have the wisdom contained within you unleashed thrust into his hands. Hooray. Uh, thanks. I hope we cross paths again someday. You'll have to tell me what you think. So this thing's really a bestseller. I guess I could skim it. There's not a single original thought in here. It's all just common sense self-help fluff. <clears throat> Do people really buy into this garbage? Apparently so. Uh, where would I go to meet him again? Oh, brilliant. Literally right next to the main quest, so we won't be able to do that one <laughs> without getting sucked into the main story. Oh well. Next up. Uh, in here? Oh, hello. Um, how do we get in here? <clears throat> Ugh, not another Model 10. I'd give my kidney for a Model 12. I want it. I need it. What's that guy yelling about? The elusive Model 12. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Step away from the figures. I call dibs on this shelf. Huh? Dibs. You can't just claim part of a convenience store for yourself. Ah, this brute's gonna hit me. Wait, are you a collector too? You must be. Nobody comes down this aisle if they're not on the hunt for some for space samurai figures. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, it's probably more fun to play along. Uh. Uh, yeah. You could say that. <laughs> Aha! I knew it. Who couldn't be a fan of the best anime ever made? The all-star direction. The gorgeous art style. Mmm. Have you found the full set? No, there's no way. No chance. Not in a million years. Even the most dedicated collectors like myself haven't finished the collection. I still need Model 12. Ah, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. You can call me Toriyama. I'm Kiryu. 
How about a deal, Kiyushi? She? What the fuck is what the fuck is that? Uh, like I know I know the other ones like there's form forms of respect and like friendly ones and stuff. But I don't I feel like we've never heard a she on the end before. What does what does she represent? You give me a model twelve, and in return I'll give you some of my dupes. <laughs> I have all the rarest ones except model twelve. That is, I can even give you a super rare model seven. Please obtain a space samurai model twelve. What the fuck is that, and where would I get it? <laughs> yeah. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Wait. This, is, this isn't the model twelve, right? Oh, it's just—is it like—is it like a fucking? Can you, can you just, like, buy and open? Is it like Pokemon cards? Where I need to buy a bunch of boxes and open them and eventually I'll get the 12 and then I can... Like, trade with him? Is that how this goes? Uh... Where's it, where's it even gone? <laughs> what? Shouldn't it be in the other? other? I wouldn't thought. Oh wait, no, here it is. Oh, I, I I was looking for the the fucking box specifically. I see, I see. I was looking for the box, but they automatically get unboxed. Okay, so we got three, five, nine, and eleven. So I guess we just keep on buying. Yeah, same, that's it. Uh. We got a one out of that. We got a bunch of threes and a ten. Uh, one, three, four, five, eight. That's new. Is nine new? So we're looking for two. We're looking for six, seven, and twelve. Two, six, seven, twelve. Uh, one, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Any two, six, sevens, or twelves? Nope. Those are the rare ones, I guess. Oh, we got a two. Uh, no six or seven, and no twelve. Okay, so now we are looking for just six, seven, and twelve. Six, seven, and twelve. Yes, Come on, yes, motherfucker. Yes, six, yes, seven, yes, and twelve. Yes, uh, oh, we got a twelve. Nice. I wonder if there is there an achievement for collecting them all, do you think? I wonder. I wonder. Should I try? Should I keep going and try and get six and seven before we hand over the twelve? You know what, let's, without going into the inventory, let's just do a bunch and see if we get lucky. After we do, like, a bunch at once. Seeing as it's so cheap. Go a couple more. And one more for luck. Okay. Do we have any sixes or sevens? Yes, we do. We even got two sixes and one seven. Nice. 
And is 12 the max? We've not- Wow, we got fucking five 12s out of that? What? Okay. I wonder if 12 is the max. <laughs> it's funny, because he did- He did actually say, didn't he, that the- He said that the- uh, number seven was super rare, right? And that is the one that we have the least of. We only got one of that, whereas like five, we've got like ten. So he was correct about the Model 7 being super rare. But there we go. And there is all the Space Samurai toys. And, and unless there's a 13, but I assume I assume 12 is the top. If there's an achievement for that, then I guess we just got it. So, hooray. I've got five 12s, bitch. Is this the one you want? <laughs> That's a... Boy. Hey, calm down. It's just a figure. <laughs> right. Apologies. Anyway, will you give me the Model 12? No. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This puppy is mine. But, here, I'll give you my super rare Model 7 instead. Will you do it now? Uh, I'm not sure that's enough. I'm not sure that's enough. I went through a lot to get my hands on this, you know. Don't tell him we have five of them. <coughs> you are a cold man, Kiyushi. A miser. It seems you leave me no choice. I'll have to scrape together all my savings. Does ten grand sweeten the pot? Uh, <laughs> let's see how far we can push this. I'm actually pretty attached to it. <coughs> Turns out it's hard to give something away after you put in all that work to find it. <coughs> you demon in human skin. Where are your horns, demon? Huh. <laughs> We're done here. Although, if you came back wanting to trade, I wouldn't say no. Looks like I made him mad. I should come back later. Can I not do it right now? <laughs> okay, you can Boy. do it immediately. <laughs> uh, uh, sure, I don't need the 10 grand, it's fine. <laughs> uh. Sure, I'll trade with you. <laughs> you will? Kiyushi, you are a god among men, a god among gods. I shall erect a shrine in your honor to celebrate this miracle. I'd rather you didn't. Ah, oh, apologies. I let my excitement get the better of me. Here's my end of the bargain. Space Samurai figure model three. <laughs> my dearest wish has finally come true. This is what true friendship is. No, this is deeper than friendship. We may have not have emerged from the same womb, but I consider you a beloved brother. I hope we can meet again someday. Farewell. Okay, buddy. Collecting things sure does seem to energize people. Indeed. I am a bit of a collector myself. I have a lot of FF14 statues, for example. <laughs> FF14 stuff, any new FF14 merch stuff that comes out, most of it gets bought. I cannot resist. Love me some FF14 stuff. Um, right, should we go left or should we go right? Let's go right. Also vinyls. I've got into vinyl collecting recently. Well, I guess it's been a while now, not super recent. But I do have quite a collection of uh, game vinyls. Hey, did you see the news? They're making a Yakuza Sunset 4. Oh. Hmm. Wonder if this one will be any good. Sunset 3 cut out all the best parts, you know. Well, that's what happens when you change directors. One and two are so perfect, how could they hope to top them? Beats me. But hey, they're filming this next one right here in Sotenbori. I saw them scouting over by Bishamon Bridge. <laughs> You're serious? Come on, let's try and make it in as extras. I'm ready for my big screen debut. Wouldn't be much of a debut if you're on screen for two seconds without a single line of dialogue. Are we about to become a star role in this thing? Sounds like they're shooting a Yakuza movie around here. I guess the locale works. Yakuza Sunset. Sunset Overdrive? Uh, okay, so that's gonna take me all the way up there, sure. Well, let's start this one then, while we're here as well. Oi. Hey, put the knife down. Right, I didn't realize what was occurring here. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm gonna run this bastard through, and ain't nobody stopping me. <laughs> let's see what you got, bitch. Hey, nobody's stabbing anyone today. Just calm down and let's talk about it. None of your goddamn business. I'm... I'm... <laughs> huh. Guess you don't got it in ya. What's going on here? 
fuck if I know. Lady just runs up to me out of nowhere, yelling about how she's going to kill me. Bet she poured all her cash into a host club and now she's taking it out on the first host she finds. Anyhow, I got a jet. Be careful, you hear? <laughs> okay, please never replay that sound again. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why don't you tell me what's going on? Okay, my name's Yuriko. I got a sister, much younger than me, Miki. Up till last year, she was working here in Sotenbori. But she got scammed. Those horrible men took everything she had, but not even that was enough for them. One day, they... they kidnapped her, locked her up, abused her, kept her in a cage like some kind of wild dog. It's been a whole year since, and the cops haven't lifted a damn finger. I finally figured out who has her, though. That bastard is one of them. When I saw him, I just... I couldn't hold back anymore. I was going to use this knife and get back at him for what he did, but I... I couldn't muster the courage. That was the right choice. Killing that man won't find your sister any faster. There are smarter ways to go about that. What's your name? It's Kiyu. You're right, Kiyu-san. Stabbing him ain't gonna bring Miki back. This is kind of a long shot, but have you ever seen Miki before? She looks like this. Well? Yeah. Sorry. Can't say I have. Right. Of course you haven't. Miki and I, we lost our parents years ago. She's the only family I got left. I want to help her, but there's nothing I can do. The cops ignore me. People don't take me seriously. Hell, I don't even have the guts to stab one of the bastards who took her. Here you, San. I know this is crazy for me to be asking this, but do you think you can help find Miki for me? I'll do anything you want if you manage to find her. Just please save my sister. I'm begging you, Here you, San. Sounds good. Uh. If it means making sure you don't end up a murderer, then I'll help as best I can. Oh, Kiyu-san, thank you so much. Let's talk details. You said you have info on the guys who kidnapped Miki, right? What do you know? I have pictures. Here. Photo of Yagi. Photo of Kanjiwara. Photo of Ko Kojima. Oh my god, Kojima's involved? No! Kojima, I thought you were one of the good ones. <laughs> the first one's a host, named Yagi. He's the guy who, who was just here. He makes his money by targeting lonely single ladies. This guy is the absolute scum of the earth. The second photo is a man named Kajiwara, realtor. At least that's what he calls himself, more like a land shark. If you ask me, folks around here despise him. As for the last photo, goes by Kojima. Ain't nobody sure if it's really his name though guy's impossible to pin down. If I had to guess, I'd say he's the one responsible for the Death Stranding. I mean running the whole operation. He looks like a regular old businessman on the outside, but somehow he's one of the richest men in the country. No way is he getting all that through legal means. These are the guys who got Miki. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'll see what I can find out. You got a real heart of gold, Kiyu-san. I can't find the words to tell you how much this means to me. The first guy, Yagi, is working in a club over on East Shofu Kucho Street. I'm counting on you, Kiyu-san. Alrighty. That guy over there, huh? Sounds good to me. But first, let's start another sub-story. Get them all going at once, shall we? Whilst we're nearby seems to be the smart move, I think. Uh, hello, freeze. Okay, there we go. Oh, bonk. Sorry about that. Here, let me help you up. Help me up? I think you mean feel me up. Don't think I didn't notice where those hands went, buster. Nanny. Nanny, excuse me. Oh, please. Even now you're eyeing me like a hungry lion. Huh? You've misunderstood. Believe me, there is nothing further from my mind than that. Huh. Doubt it. I bet just the thought of getting handsy with me got your blood flowing south of the border. This lady is out of her mind. <laughs> what the fuck is that, Tom? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Actually, 
yeah, no sane woman would step out of the door looking like this. Oh, you sizing me up now, fella? A lack of action got you on the verge of a splurge? Uh, I should probably be going. Sorry for that bump again. Oi! Get back here, you old hag. Mm. What, you want a slice of this pie too? Well, I ain't into the apron look, Junior. Don't give me that. I saw you shoplifting. Ooh. Huh? The only thing I steal is hearts, Sonny. You got the wrong lady, I'd say. <laughs> uh, why do we suddenly know... Why do we suddenly know her name? <laughs> what? It was, it was old lady, and now it's her name, but she hasn't told us her name. Anyway, I was just leaving. Me and this chunk of hunk were heading out on a date. Ain't that right, fella? What? So that's how it is, huh? You gotta keep your granny fetish under wraps, man. Anyway, you gotta pay up. Hold on. All I did was bump into her. Wait. Oh, Sasaki. I caught up to the old lady you found, and I'm about to collect. About that, uh, I went and checked the tapes again. Turns out she ain't the one. What? So then this old shrew. She's innocent. Sorry, this is all because of me. Told you so. Think about what you're doing to my street cred. I should sue, or at least get a few coupons off you. Uh, you should forgive them. It's an easy mistake to make. Look, we're real sorry. Sorry ain't good enough. Those wild accusations had me blushing like a schoolgirl on Christmas Eve. Like I said, fork over a few coupons and we're good as gold. Ugh. Uh. You got a problem, boss? Ah, Katawaki-san. This old hag's trying to shake us down for coupons. Huh? Shake you down? You're the ones who started it. Look, lady. This manager here has treated you real nice over the years. Why don't you run on home? If you know what's good for you. Oh, so you think I'll back down after you tarnish my honour like that? Sorry, but I don't take orders from tiny boys out here looking like leprechauns. Mm? You better shut your damn mouth, you purple-haired harpy. What, you want to fight? Do you know who I am, Sonny? They don't call me the Obertarian for nothing. I have no idea what that means. Who cares? I ain't afraid to cut you one way or another. This is turning ugly. I'll teach you what happens when you fuck with the Yakuza. Eek! The hell do you think you're doing? You should be ashamed of yourself getting so worked up over an old woman. My hero. Oh yeah? Either way, I doubt you'd be much match for her. What was that? A woman like her? I can't explain why, but there's no way a two-bit thug like you could take her. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think, huh? Well then I'm gonna wreck this windbag after you're dead. Bada 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 bum bum bum. <laughs> Bitch. Fine. I'll let you off the hook for now. But watch your back, buddy. I can't believe I got dragged into this mess. <laughs> I'm saved. Thank you, my guardian angel. Here's a little something for your trouble. Granny's candy. I don't think I want that. Thanks. Ooh. Hmm? You know, now that I'm seeing you up close, you're a real stud. Mm. Excuse me. This is reminding me of that time a stunning young man with an eye patch came to my rescue. I'm getting hot flashbacks. Uh oh, was this a Zero thing? Did Majima have a sub story with her in Zero? I don't think I did it. I'm not remembering her at all, but. That's nice, but I should be going then. Call your jets now, big boy. It's been 20 years since anyone set my heart ablaze like this. I ain't letting you get away. <coughs> Wait, please. You ready? Here comes Granny. <laughs> Bruh. How do you have this kind of strength? Yeah. Ugh. 
Ugh. <laughs> no need to go all mumble mouth on me, son. It's been a while since I've had my oats too. That was really something, Mum. Sorry again for the misunderstanding today. No worries, fella. I got all the compensation I was looking for right here. I've fought some battles in my time, but it, I've never felt strength like this. Obertarian, more like tank battalion. Got him. Well, that was a fucking weird one. All right, next up. Uh, up here and around the corner. Unfortunately, there are dudes in the way. Wait. <laughs> you can go to the club now as well? Oh my god. Aha, there you are. Can't hide from me forever. Oh no. Oh no. I'm real sorry about before, big guy. I mean, you saved me, and I barely even gave you a nod and thanks. No, it's fine, trust me. I got more than I ever needed out of our last exchange. No, you didn't. I need to thank you for your kindness. I haven't stopped thinking about what you did since. Figured there's no better way than offer my services, so here I am. Your services. I think you catch my drift, fella. I know what kind of place you're running here. If you did, you wouldn't be offering your services. A cabaret club isn't exactly appropriate for a lady your age. Like hell it ain't. I know what a cabaret club is, and I went, I want back in on the fun. Wait, back in? Darn tootin', back in the day I was the secret weapon of Sotenbori's own sunshine cabaret. I made bank, sonny. Oh, is it part of Majima's uh, cabaret club substory? Why, I had a line out the door of men coming to take a gander at my beauty, and I could talk their ears off. I see. I don't know about beauty, but the lady sure can talk. The fellow who ran the joint was my biggest fan, too. He only had one good eye, but when I was around, he couldn't take it off me. That sly perv. Ha! So what do you say? No better deal in town than the one I'm putting on offer right here. One good eye. Nah, couldn't be. <laughs> Surely not. Fine. You want it so bad, you can have it. Oh yeah, the Obertarian rides again. Yikes. Let's hope she doesn't ride anyone. <laughs> Howdy, big man. That's him, Yagi. One of the guys who kidnapped Miki. Hey, I remember you. That bitch cool off yet. Yeah? She was out of her freaking mind, let me tell you. Do you know this girl? That's... Uh, I mean, I've never seen her before. Might have been one of my customers over at the club, but you can't expect me to remember every chick who steps foot in there, can you? Strange. I met someone who claims you conned her. Oh yeah? Bring him here. Ain't nobody supposed to know about that. So you do know her. Where is she? <laughs> Ugh, no fucking clue. I was just doing what Kajiwara asked when I nabbed her. Girl could be anywhere by now. Last memory I got is tying her up and having some fun. Girl's got a great pair on her, believe me. Anyways, I don't know how you're connected to all this, but it looks like I'm gonna have to shut you up for good. Great, get ready to die. <laughs> Oi. Tell me where Kajiwara is. Ugh, I don't freaking know. Best guess he's at the golf center. Guy's always got his clubs on him. Good. If you don't want to deal with me again, then I suggest you relocate. Scum like you don't belong on the streets. Bitch. Uh, okay, is that the golf center? Yep. All right, so... Uh... The thing is, if I go up there to get that one, I'm going to get sucked into the main quest. So I think we've got a 180. And go all the way along here. Many more of these to open? A few. Silver plate. 
Chinese saber. Flyers. Uh, I don't know, man. Probably the pliers. They don't look that good. Bust amulet? What the fuck's that? Toughness. Toughness. Base. Sure. Man, I've got most of these now, huh? I think the white ones are the only ones left to get, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten left. Not too bad. Not too shabby. All right. Next up. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, sorry about that. Man, Kiryu sure do be bumping into a lot of people, huh? No, it was my fault. I can't seem to do anything right. Oi. Wait, you dropped something. Guess I'll go track him down. Yakuza Sunset 4. Isn't this a script to the movie those kids were talking about? If the movie is still in production, this must be pretty important. I better track that guy down. It looked like he was heading up to Sotenbori Street. Uh, this guy, I guess? Probably? Or this guy, maybe? <laughs> there's a lot of- there's a lot of potential guys. <laughs> Uh, we have got another one down here. Let's go and grab this substory whilst we are in the area. Give it a good old grab. Howdy. I feel like this is the exact same model as the one that we just did. <laughs> just the hair's not as wacky. I ain't never gonna find it now. Oof, my hip's feeling more knotted than a noodle bowl. Hey, 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 hey. You there. Hmm. A mother's love. Are you talking to me? You got that right, buster. Granny's got something she needs you to do. Is that any way to ask for a favor? Don't question your elders, Sonny. This here old lady's in trouble, and you're just gonna pass on by? She's taking a shit. Oof, ouch, my ulcer's flaring up. Such agonizing pain. I'm about to fall right over. Ooh. Yeah? Or maybe it's appendicitis. But I thought the doc sliced mine out years ago. Can those grow back? Or maybe it's my appendix's ghost. Hey, I think I'm dying here. And anyone around who'd help save a dying old lady? A strong, sturdy man with generosity in his heart in particular? A tragedy. Yoriko Hayashibe dead at 57 years young. Cut down by the heavens in the prime of her life. Died alone, screaming in agony. I'm going towards the light. Oh, I can hear the angels. If only there was a muscle man in the vicinity who'd save me. I get it. I'll help you if you'll just keep it down. Oh, lovely. Thank you kindly, son. Hey, what happened to that excruciating pain? Guess you brought me back from the brink with your kindness. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, let me tell you what I need. I dropped something real important to me somewhere around the riverbank here. Think you can help me find it? All right, if you stay civil, I'll help you. Thank you, thank you. You got a heart of gold in there, Sonny. Now, I dropped my amulet down by the river. I'm sure you'll see it if you keep your eyes on the ground as you walk. Okay, I'll come back soon. Hopefully with my amulet in tow. I'm counting on you, Sonny. Bring it on back to me if you find it. Uh, I don't suppose I already found it. Like, can it have spawned earlier and I already got it? No, I can't talk to her again, so... I guess not. Anything to spot down here? Doesn't look like it. This way then. There it is. 
traffic safety amulet? Is that the one? I found an amulet. I assume it's yours. You betcha. I'm so glad you found it. See, my son gave it to me years back. Doubt you picked up on it, but I'm a bit brazen. Kind of loudmouth, too. At least she's self-aware. This amulet was his way of keeping me safe when I was out on the road, making sure I didn't run red lights and cause car accidents. Sounds like a considerate kid. <sighs> you ain't wrong. Boy was a damn good son. Well, no, did he die? Always looked out for me. But he's gone now. Gone where I can't reach him. I've cherished this amulet before and ever since the day he moved on. Helps me feel like he's still watching over me, you know? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, wait, that's key. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. Life's a bitch, ain't it? One day, you're a happy family. The next, your full son goes and moves to France. Oh. I mean, France? Come on. Wait, what? Said he was following his life's dream to be a pastry chef on the streets of Paris. I got nothing against pastry chefs, mind you. I just can't see why he'd want to abandon his ma and move halfway around the world. Mighty rude, if you ask me. Been years since I seen him last, but he always manages to meander home after a spell. I ain't too worried. By the way, what shall I call you, Sonny? My name's Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. Ready? Well, you're in luck, Kazuma-kun. All this pent-up motherly affection and leftover nabiyaki's gotta go somewhere, so I'm gonna watch over you like my own son. What? I'm a grown man. I don't need to be watched over. Oh, don't be shy now. How else am I gonna thank you for helping me out? Osaka's my playground, so if you ever need a pot full of steaming home cooking, Granny'll be there in a flash to help you, Karkun. Karkun? You know, like Kazumakun, but shorter. Adorable, ain't it? Oops, I got a jet. There's a sail I gotta catch before they run out. Bye for now, Karkun. <clears throat> She's like a living, breathing hurricane. But I think I'd take the hurricane to an Osakan granny. The Osakan old lady is now your ally. Great. What, uh... What is her one? Uh, Essence of Hot Pot? That's new, right? Yeah, that's her. <laughs> it's just the casual over the head. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. And then the lid to the face. Okay, that's a good one. Love to see it. Love to see it. Right. Uh, okay, back down here. And then we've got the guitar playing dude here. And we've got follow up one just next to him. I'm pretty sure there was one called Essence of Guitar, right? So he's going to become a friend. You guys can fuck off. What? I'm nowhere near them. Are you mad? Tema <laughs> Torosevate. Back off. Sup. I love you, my sweet princess. This street performer isn't exactly easy on the ears. Nasally guitarist. Why you? Can't even carry a tune with my nose stuffed up like this. Do you have a cold or something? No, I'm fine. What chew? Guess I could use some tissues though. Tissues, huh? Well, I do have me some tissues, right? Right, don't I? Wait, I thought I did. Oh, uh, it'll be another or something. Yeah, there we go. Here, blow your nose. Oh! Whoa. You solved my tissue issue. Thanks. Oh, uh, I'm all cleared up. But I'm still going to talk like this because that's my voice now. Just smell that rancid Soton Borier. You're already sounding much better. And it's all because of you, big guy. You ever need a song, my guitar is yours. The guitarist is now your ally. Wow, that was the quickest sub-story in the entire game. My nose is so fresh, let's play a sesh. Well, that's a start. 
That was the fastest substory I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, essence of guitar. Where's that? There it is. He yeets you his guitar, does he? Okay. <laughs> and then you just smack him with it? Okay, that's one of the boring ones. Alright, what about you? 